Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing a couple of my new flashlights here, the Convoy Z1, and I've actually unscrewed one just to show you the difference between the zoomed in version here and completely zoomed out. It's a little bit shorter, you know, by, you know, a couple of centimeters maybe. And you can see here, you know, I've got two different LEDs. Oh, you can't see that one because it's not zoomed in, uh, zoomed out. But basically, I've got the 3000K version and the 6500K version. And I think this is going to be useful for a lot of you if you're deciding which one to get due to performance or just tint wise. So make sure you watch this video if you wanna find out more. So firstly, I'll go through some ceiling bounce tests and I actually ran both of them on 100%. So the 3000K version and the 6500K version, just to make sure that they both behave the same despite the fact that there's you know two different tints of LED in there, but it's essentially the same. You know, you've got about one minute of runtime on 100%. Uh, while that light is essentially between 90 to 100% output. So you get decent output on 100% for one minute, and then it starts to drop. So by the two and a half minute mark, the light drops to about 50% output. And I saw that with both of these lights pretty much identical. I also ran a ceiling bounce test with the lights completely zoomed out. So basically the heads uh, retracted like this. Thought maybe there would be some better heat dissipation. Didn't see any difference as well between uh, zoomed in or zoomed out on 100%. So they both stepped down uh, pretty much at the same point. And by two and a half minutes, stepped down to 50%. The good news though is both of these lights will run on 95 to 100% output if you have it on 35%. I'm pretty sure it could uphold something similar on the 50% mode. I didn't check it, but I will check later and give you guys an update. But it's good to know because you're getting a rock, you know, approximately 500 meters of throw on both these lights on 35%, which brings me to the next part of my tests. So my Oppo Light Master Pro, I've got the Z1, the 6500K version, 776 meters of throw on 100%. That is pretty impressive for a light of this size and on 35%, well over 500 meters of throw. CRI and CCT are here as well. No surprises at all if you want to pause the video and you can see here this is the 3000k version and surprisingly i got 824 meters of throw on 100 percent so if you're looking for the one that performs the best that's able to cut through fog better especially because it's 3000k i definitely recommend this one the 3000k the tint on the beam is really nice as well it's just this orangey yellow sort of color nice and calming but i won't talk any longer let's go straight to the beam shots 3000k on the left and the 6500k on the right and i mean side by side side by side i really can't see a huge difference but definitely that yellow seems to be cutting through the air a little bit better I don't know how to describe it, but that yellowish beam seems to just go a little bit further, but it's honestly, it's, you can't tell a huge difference out here. Um, you know, if I look at that flag, there's a little flag there with the yellow beam just waving around. It's a, it's a golf course. So like it's definitely brighter with the yellow than it is uh, with the 6500. Okay. But both pretty powerful. Um, yeah, I mean, on the test that I ran, the yellow does throw further. But I mean, in person, honestly, I can't see a huge difference. 3000K zoomed out so you can just see the the pattern of the beam and on the edges of the beam there is a little a little bit of a little bit extra light on the edges as you can see and even in the center of the beam it's slightly brighter in the center but for the most part the beam is very smooth okay this is the 
6,500k model. And I really wonder whether my eyes are just more sensitive to this sort of bluish white tint. Because up close it seems a lot, I don't know if it's brighter, but it certainly feels harsher. Okay, then the yellow, see 6,500 and the 3,000. Um, the 3,000 definitely feels a lot more comfortable to look at. Let's zoom it in a little, kind of like halfway, halfway zoom, I guess, on both. So this is kind of like the midpoint zoom. Still pretty, pretty useful. It's a much larger hotspot. But uh, as you get closer, you can see the beam is not as clean. You've really got to just focus it to a certain point.